Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Two Cents Plus and it's been a while since I've uploaded a regular video on this channel that wasn't a stream but I wanted to have a conversation about um, the kind of controversy with Blizzard and the fact that their new uh, supposed game that they're releasing after they had uh, you know people go to BlizzCon and get everybody hyped up for an announcement turned out to be a mobile game. A mobile game that is been hit with a whole bunch of criticisms like being a carbon copy of a completely separate game and after waiting all these years it just didn't seem like they were trying to deliver on something um, you know specifically tailor-made for their fans the people who have been kind of keeping them afloat this whole time and there's been a conversation of entitlement going on uh, for a while uh, surrounding this situation and lots of others where people are claiming that the gamers are all entitled assholes or crybabies who who just want things to be the way they want them to be now if you have an ounce of common sense you would understand how flawed and kind of stupid this argument is especially coming from a business standpoint uh it doesn't make any sense uh, it, it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense at all so thinking from a business perspective from a company who has been around for a very long time, who has cultivated and kind of created a following from providing those people with games that they love. Um, and this, this loyal fan base that has been around this entire time, funneling money into this company to allow them to continue creating games that appeal to the people who play them, which supply and demand is like the fundamental bedrock of any business you have a company that provides a product uh the people who consume that product uh are are going to be the people who you are going to gear that product towards to make sure that it appeals to them uh, and sometimes maybe branch out a little bit more to appeal to a broader audience but you never forget your core which makes sense now if i was to tell you that I sell a com I have a company that specializes in selling red stuff. Just red stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. The fact that it's red makes people who love red things love me. That is my thing. No matter what, I have been dedicated to providing red things to people at all times. Now, let's just say somewhere down the line, I was just like, hey, maybe maybe we can add blue to the mix. Maybe we want to expand a little bit. And as opposed to just doing red, we'll start doing blue too. And some people will be unhappy about that because they'll be like, well, the reason that we, you know, love your company is because you're providing red things and now you're going to do blue. And they're like, no, 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 don't worry. We're still dedicating ourselves to putting everything into creating the best red stuff we can for you people. But we want to diversify, expand, and provide some stuff for people who like blue things. And to that, there are some people who are still going to be upset but for the most part, people are going to be like, OK, well, that's fine. As long as you're not getting rid of our red stuff, considering the reason you are able to thrive and exist and even add on something like blue stuff for those people is the fact that we have been supporting you and doing so. OK, so fine. Now that for the most part is pretty acceptable. Um, it's a it's a very professional way to handle it. But for some reason, somewhere along the line, these companies decided to say, we are a company dedicated to creating red stuff. We have been built upon the foundation of creating a, a group of people that love red things. And uh, they are the reason that we continue to thrive and exist today. So with that said, fuck those people. We are now creating blue stuff exclusively now. Um, red stuff is just not a thing we want to do anymore. If you are here and you've been supporting our company for all the red stuff we've been buying, you're an entitled piece of shit if you think that you can sit there and tell us that we should continue providing you with things that you paid us money for. Fuck you. If you don't like blue, then you should get over it and stop being fucking entitled. Which is the which is the kind of the direction that a lot of companies have been going lately. Completely shit on your core fan base 
with hopes that whatever it is new that you're bringing out, the other people who you're trying to appeal to will completely embrace it the same way that these other people have, and you'll be fine. Now, this hardly ever works, and companies have literally vanished because of using this tactic, but for some reason, people just haven't been getting it. Um, and the power of virtue signaling or just trying to to push whatever narrative is going on right now to demonize your fan base is the new thing to do. Fuck everybody who made us money and who made us popular. Fuck you guys. If you want to continue uh, uh, engaging in the very thing that you have been engaging in that that had you support us in the first place, then you're just an entitled piece of shit who thinks you just deserve this. And you don't deserve anything. We deserve your money. You need to buy this new thing that you don't want because we're entitled to your money. Your money belongs to us. But you must be crazy if you think we're supposed to provide you with an experience that you have got accustomed to this whole time. And one of the most amazing things about this are the people who are backing this narrative, the people who are rousing these uh, these companies up and telling them that they're doing a good job saying fuck the people who made them money and who, who are responsible for them being able to thrive at the way that they do are the same people who are coming out every day writing articles about, hey, company that I have never contributed a penny to. Hey company, that has been around for 10 plus years that I have never shown even the remotest interest in, in financing your company or helping you thrive or bringing money into your company or supporting your community. You need to make sure that any games or whatever products you are releasing are tailored to me because I want to consume them. So whatever it is you're doing that is appealing to these other people, fuck them. What they want is irrelevant. Your game, your movie, your product needs to cater specifically to me. So that way I can feel good about it existing in this world. Am I going to buy it? No. Am I going to support it? No. But I will marvel and revel in the fact that it does exist now for me, even though I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't plan on engaging on it. I personally think its existence is a complete waste of time. But as long as you make sure that it exists solely for me, then I can go around and virtue signal and feel happy about that. The, these are the people who are talking to loyal people who have been following these companies and supporting them for 10 plus years. These people who walk inside of fandoms or these, these things that, that clearly wasn't made for them that they clearly have no interest in and saying, hey, you need to make this to cater to my sensibilities. They're talking to us about entitlement. Now, don't get me wrong. These companies, uh, for the most part, especially when talking about video games or movies or whatever, they are creators and they create their vision, they put it and bring it to light or whatever, and that's totally fine. Their vision is what brought us to the company in the first place. But they are still, as a functional company, as a company that wants to stick around for some amount of time, you still have to think about the people who are putting money in your pockets. You have to think about the people who are supporting you. It, it just doesn't make sense to shit on your core fan base. It doesn't make any sense. It's like a it's like a famous barbecue spot, just out of nowhere, going vegan. Just just out of nowhere, like the the whole reason they existed up until this time is because there has been a they have been a haven for meat eaters, and their response to ten straight years of support from meat eaters and people who just love barbecue and have have been spreading their message across the world and ordering their food online and singing their praises everywhere that they go is not hey we're trying to move in a different direction and we know it's disappointing to you guys thank you for supporting us all this time but we really want to try something new it's no fuck you you entitled piece of shit how fucking dare you insist that we were supposed to continue to make this product that you have been fully supporting us for how dare you assume that just because you have been putting money into our pockets and ensuring that we exist, that we literally just completely changed this thing without any regard, uh, you know, for the major people who did this. How dare you think that you have the right to tell us what we can and can't do? Like, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. 
It's like they want to die. It's like these companies just made a conscious decision. Like we don't want to exist anymore. We, we're going to gamble it all in one in one Hail Mary attempt to try to to try to completely grasp a completely different audience while completely shitting on the one that we already have intact that is already supporting us. Now, re, to, to be realistic, these gamers, these movie watchers, these other people, a part of these fandoms that have been, they technically don't have the right to tell these creative companies what they can and cannot do. But to sit there and assert that we still want your money. We still want you to pay for these things that we are creating, but we don't give a fuck about how you feel about them. Those two things don't go together. You can't hold both of those arguments at the same time. It's either one or the other. You either care what your core fan base thinks and want to provide them with a product that they are going to enjoy or you don't. But you can't say, hey, we care or we don't care about what you want, but we still want your money. No, if you don't give a fuck about what I want, then you don't give a fuck about my money either, period. And if that's the case, that's fine. Like if you're saying, I don't care about what you want. I don't care about what you think. I don't care about what you think this should be. And I also don't care about your money. You can keep it. Then that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm more than happy to keep my money. That is how the free market works. You don't want to provide me with a product that helps me. I don't want to provide you with money. But for you to think that I'm going to completely change this and totally disregard what you want as a customer who has been supporting my company for this amount of time. And you just need to deal with it and keep giving me your money. And if you don't, you're a fucking entitled piece of shit. I just, I don't get that at all. I really don't understand that concept. And uh, I'm, I've been trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Like what kind of rift in the universe took place for this to be commonplace, for this to be a normal thing for developers and, and creators and all these other companies who make these things that people enjoy that have been paying for for all this time. Uh, what possessed them to think that this was a good idea? I don't know. I have no idea, but it is very interesting to see where these companies are going to go. Uh, and I want to reiterate one more time. These companies are 100% entitled to do whatever the fuck they want to do. They are. Nobody is saying that they can't or that they shouldn't be able to. If you're a company who creates a product or whatever, you're entitled to change it and do whatever it is you want to do. But if you think that you are going to do that and continue to get the money of the people who liked it for what it was, you're going to continue to get money from the people who you blatantly and outwardly disrespect because they have the gall to want to continue to, you know, utilize a product that you uh, present to them. Then you're fucking crazy. You are insane. You you have completely lost the narrative um, that that's just not a realistic thing to expect. I'm sorry. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Um, and, uh, let's, let's get a conversation going. Cause I, I'm, I'm very, uh, very curious as to what your thoughts is on this. And, uh, you think it's normal for these companies to, to literally say, fuck everything, uh, that, that made them great for the sake of something else. Um, do you think that it is acceptable, uh, for these companies to completely shift their entire vision and focus? Uh, to bring on a completely different subset of audiences at the expense of the uh, the audience that they have now, uh, especially depending on how they do it. Because like I said, the method matters. Uh, there are ways to do this that that aren't insulting and that aren't uh, that are that don't require you to demonize your core fan base. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.